Hey guys, so sorry for the weird setup here. I just wanted to make a quick video and talk to you guys about something. I really, really want to set a goal for myself here. I know this isn't unheard of in the book community. I know a lot of people do book buying bans a lot and most people break them. <laughs> I don't know anyone who I watch who has ever successfully done a book ban buying ban, but I myself am going to give it a shot. And what I mean by this is that I have over 60 books on my TBR that are unread. And I would like to get that number dwindled down to at least like 50, 40, something like that. Which isn't too bad. That's not a whole lot of books that I need to get through. And I'm not going to count manga or graphic novels or comics because those kind of give me a little bit of breathing room in between regular novels. So I'm not going to count that. I'm still going to get those on occasion and I usually get them used anyways. Um, unless it's a new series or something that I really want to support the artist on. I just wanted to... Let you guys know that I'm probably going to be doing a lot of reading vlogs with that because it helps me get through a book faster if I am holding myself accountable to this channel and to you guys of reviewing the book. And I think that that would help me a lot. And um, if I hate a book, I'm going to DNF it or I'll finish it and give it a bad rating or whatever. I'll talk about it with you guys. I just really, really, really want to do this for myself. Um, I don't want to let my TBR get so out of hand that I've got all these unread books and tons of bookshelves just full of them. Right now I'm holding pretty steady with two bookshelves and they're almost completely full, but I want to get it down to a manageable size and I want my bookshelves to be full of books that I've actually read more so than books I haven't read. So, you know, I'm sure if you have that problem, you totally get it, you know, and there's a lot of books that I've read that I don't own a physical copy of. Like right now I'm looking at my, my red shelf. You can see here, sorry, we just got some pops and we haven't organized them yet. Um, but you can see this is the only books, these are the only books I have right now that I have read from here up. Um, I listen to a ton of audiobooks and I want to own those physical copies of the ones I enjoyed. And there are a few I read digitally, so I would like to get a copy of those eventually. But for now, this is all that I have that I've read as far as book books go. And then all of this down here is what I haven't read. Not counting those graphic novels, I've read every single one of those. But everything else... I have not read, which is a ton of books. Some of them are really thick boys, but I just really want to read more of my collection, you know? And I think that you guys might enjoy watching me go through that process. I know individual book reviews on BookTube don't do as well as like a community reading blog, but I don't know. I just, I like having them that way because it's easy for me to just find the book I reviewed and send it to someone if they're interested in my opinion, or just to go back and look for myself and how I felt about that book at the end of the year or if I want to reread it, if it's worth it or anything. So I, I mostly do it just for organization and for myself and if you don't like it, that's fine. I get it. I have other videos that you may enjoy. Feel free to subscribe if you are interested in things like that, but I do like to do individual book reading vlogs if they're worth it. If the book is totally awful and I DNF it, I'll probably mention it at the end of the year because I want to do like a video where I show you all the books I DNF'd that year. So I think that's going to be a thing I start doing at the end of every year because it might be surprising to some people the books that I DNF, but I guess you could call this just like a little channel update or an update on what's going on because I'm probably not going to do as many book hauls. I do have one or two that I need to film and upload here because I've had these books forever and I just haven't hauled them for you. But uh, other than that, I'm hoping to not have too many new book books come into my library until I catch up. Because, you know, I'm looking at this stack and I'm just like, yeah, I want to read all of these. But if I keep growing, I'm not going to remember them and I'm going to forget that I own them and I might as well just get rid of them. I'm going to narrow that down and get rid of the ones I don't like, do a giveaway here or there maybe. Um, if you're interested in giveaways, you can follow me on my Instagram. I'll link that in the description of the video below and um, I give away books either I don't want anymore or uh, their arcs or their books that I just want to get rid of or I didn't like them or maybe I have an extra copy or something like that. Um, they're not always bad books. I give away pretty much everything and sometimes I DNF books that most people love. So, 
even if I hate the book and you, you might really like it. A lot of people like the books that I don't like. So I like a lot of weird stuff, but anyways, um, I'm very rambly today. I've been wanting to make a video and I couldn't think of anything other than wanting to get through this TBR. So I hope that that's understandable, relatable, all that good stuff. And I guess I can update you real quick what I am reading. I'm currently reading, um, F star C K F A C E. I don't want to say that word here, but you know what I'm talking about by Leah Hampton and other stories. So the same author made like this little um, short story collection and I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, I'll give you a full, full rating when I'm done. I hope to finish this within the next couple days. I've only read four of the 12 stories. So, you know, they're not very long. I should be able to get through this fairly quickly and I'll review it in my wrap up. I'll still be doing, you know, normal videos like that here. I just hope you guys are having a good day. Please subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content and like this video if you enjoy and um, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm really, really going to try. And if people buy me gifts, you know, I'm not gonna count that as breaking the buying ban because I didn't buy them, but I will add them to my unread and it'll just add more to the fire. But people don't typically just buy me books. So it's not like a big issue I'm worried about, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.